What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. In today's video, we're gonna answer the question of how to sort a list in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. So before we can actually sort a list, we actually have to create a list. So I'm gonna go through and just create an, a list object. Say list is equal to list. And I'm just gonna make it, um, basically this will just give me a list of numbers um, from range. And I'm just gonna say 100 um, and let's print this out. So if we print this out, this should show us that it gives us a list from zero to 99 in order, right? This is um, essentially yeah, zero to 99 and you can see that it's in order, but we don't want that. So let's actually sh uh, shuffle this list up and I'm actually gonna do, let's say import random. And this is one way that you can use, uh, this is how you can mix up your list if you want. You can say random dot shuffle and then I can say list. And then with this, if I, if, well now if I print this out, you'll see that A, it's not zero to 99 anymore. Everything's kind of mixed up. So how do we get this back from our mixed up list into our ordered list as you see, like we did when we first created this, you know, we're using the range function. So that's the setup for this. Now let's hop right in and show you the one line that you can use to actually sort this in Python. Hey, I just wanna jump in real quick, say thank you so much for watching the video so far. If it's providing you value, please click that like button below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so we can learn more about software development and programming. And well, speaking of programming, let's get right back to it. So just like we did, there's the setup. Now here's the one line. To sort our list we're just gonna say list dot sort and it's that easy right that easy to sort a list and now if I print this out now let's so that should shuffle it and then we're just gonna copy this print this out and you should see two print statements and let's actually say let's do this let's say this is going to be the print this is our shuffled and then this is gonna be our ordered here now, if I run this, you should see two lists get printed out. So there's the shuffled version, boom, boom, boom. And then there's the ordered zero to 99. So that's how you sort a list. Now, what happens if you wanna sort this in reverse? What if we want 99 to zero? How are we gonna handle that? So to sort the list in reverse order, all we have to do is go to list, so our variable name, which I'm calling LST, um, dot sort, and then we just do reverse. So there's a keyword in this sort function that you can put reverse equals to true. And then now if I do this, um, just copy this right here, and this will say ordered and then reversed and then we'll print out the list, print the list. Now if I run this, we'll get three, we'll get our shuffled one, then our ordered from back to zero to, to 99, and then we should see 99 to zero. So when we do this, we get, there is our shuffled, our ordered, zero to 99, and then ordered reverse, 99 all the way back to zero, so as you can see. So. That's how you do it. And as you can see, this is actually doing this in, in place. This is sorting in place. So what that means is it's basically say you have your member variable and um, when you do the sort function, it's redoing all the indexes and updating them all and making it so it's now in that sorted order. It's, it's not creating like there's some other functions out there that will create like a brand new instance. So you'll have your like original list and then you'll have your brand new instance of the list that is basically your sorted list. But this case, it's sorting the list in order. So that's very simple, very basic of how you can sort a list in Python, both using the reverse method. So back, you know, in whatever way you want to do it. So from either sort, which will do it from zero to 99 in this case with numbers, or from, if you use reverse, it'll do the reverse of from higher to lower. So hope this has provided value. If it has, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so we continue to learn about Python programming and other software development techniques. And until next time, keep on programming.